and hello everyone welcome back to a new video that doesn't look very loud but it's fine if you hear any noise in the background just ignore that that's just my family so anyways today we will be doing some more of this code wars so about three days ago I started learning a bit of C++ because I need it for the future so I decided I'm going to learn about it, I'm going to study it so let's see, after three days with my programming knowledge can... sorry about that oh yeah, so I'm going to see with my previous programming knowledge and this that I already know can I do this kata? is it possible for me to do this with C++? so let's see, what should I do? no, this cut is inspired by OK we don't need to go away we need a function that can transform a string into a number. What, what ways of achieving this do you know? Note, don't worry all inputs will be strings and every string is perfectly valid representation of an integral number. I guess that probably means like integer. So string to number, okay, I see, I see. Um, so I'm just going to go I don't know what you should add. It's the very first time I've been, I've done a cutter on a on code wars that is of C plus plus. I don't know if I should go include iOS dream. All right, and then using namespace std which means I can most likely remove this. I don't know if it will like, give an error if I remove this. I don't know. I, I Let's keep it here for now. Um, so your code goes here. So first thing I gotta do is I gotta get that. I gotta, I think it's S. I, I haven't gotten to this part in learning about C++. Yet. I think it's S. Which means um, let's just count s uh, that's almost error yeah I forget that you now need things like that uh, um, so let's attempt it so we can get a, an output that is rolled strength number and we didn't return anything in fact it was supposed to return s but it doesn't seem to do anything bad I guess I don't know so um, let's presume it works let's just presume it does so I believe it's the, probably the parse end so um, int num equals s dot parse int maybe I have no idea I I know this is probably like that in Java or JavaScript, but I have no idea if it's the same here. And then I think I should go return a num. Uh, Main.cpp error. No member named. Okay, so it's not parsing. Um, string to end. Because I have. C++. I've never done that with C++ yet. Uh, story. I see, I see. Um, how should I use it though? How should I use story? Uh, I don't know. I can't even see that. But I don't know how to use story. So, um. See, it's, it does use std at least. So I'm, I'm gonna go dot story, maybe that works. But I have no clue if it will actually work. Uh, named story in. I don't know, maybe it is story and then you do this. I 
it worked all right I'm proud of myself damn dude like I figured that one out all right nice so the STD it seems you probably don't need it if I have to guess attempt again okay it works perfectly fine ah <sighs> that was very interesting um but yeah let's submit it because I have no idea how to make this shorter yet I haven't even gotten to the part about making functions so I am quite literally still at the very beginning oh you can just do that oh but of course you can just do that why didn't I think of that damn it damn I could have done that but I didn't think about it hmm I see a lot of people ha had said include string. Um, I just say I have stream, so I don't think I need string. But some of them didn't. But a lot of them used story. Some use string stream. All right, that that's really cool. I'm not gonna lie. It's just these that I kind of have to figure out, like. They, they confuse me because the first time I've ever used them. But yeah, that was my very first C++ Kana. And yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed seeing a noob C++ user getting something right for a change. Thank you all for watching. See you all in the next video.